Happy New Year, everybody! Welcome to Vintage Videos. First, what's new for 2018? First of all, maybe the most exciting news that we've got is that I've found a complete set of combat. The absolute definitive war anthology that was done for television in the 60s. Long been off the market. Films of Faith. Anybody who knows me, especially with this t-shirt, knows that I'd be pretty excited about this. A brand new Three Stooges collection. And it has been produced by one of the sons of the Three Stooges. It's brand new. Some of these things you've seen before, but just letting you know we still have them. The complete six seasons of Superman. Jeremy Brett's Sherlock Holmes. We also have the Basil Rathbone set, the complete Poirot, David Suchet's astounding portrayal of maybe the most annoying detective in literature. Brand new science fiction set. You have The Thing, really, The Thing from Another World, with James Arness as the carrot head monster, The Beast on 20,000 Fathoms, them, which may be the best bug movie that was ever done, with these giant ants. Forbidden Planet, of course, everybody knows Forbidden Planet. World Without End, and H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, with Rod Taylor. The Steve Canyon Complete Television Series. This is an early show that originally they thought was going to be for children, but they did it so well that adults liked it as much as the children did. And it's taken from the Sunday newspaper strip of Steve Canyon, and I think it was drawn by Milton Kniff. It's a complete series, three DVDs. Charlie Chan. What would any What's New be without Charlie Chan? We have everything that is available in Charlie Chan. Speaking of Poirot, Miss Marple. This is with Margaret Rutherford, that wonderful, bumbly, wearing tweedy suit and comfortable shoes, a little, a little on the confused side, uh, but that's where her enemies misjudged her. I found a set of Michael Crawford's Some Mothers Do Adam. Michael Crawford, as everyone knows, went on to be the original Phantom of the Opera, and he did all of his own stunts in this. Plays Frank Spencer. The Complete Man from Uncle. One hour episodes, four seasons. The entire 48 film collection of the Bowery Boys, who became the Bowery Boys in 1948 and ran right through until the mid-50s, comes in four box sets of 12 movies each. Roger Moore and the Saint. Roger Moore always had, and of course I'm always a little jealous, Roger Moore always had too much hair. When he did the original Ivanhoe as a, as a boy, I thought, how is he ever going to get his helmet on? He's just got too much hair. Well, they brought it down a little bit for The Saint. Five seasons of The Saint. Any of you who are into horror movies know that the British studio Hammer, were the people who did the first color Frankenstein and followed it with the next color Dracula, both starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Well, the studio went on to make, oh, eight zillion movies, and not one of them lost any money. But in the 60s, they decided that they were going to embark on a television show, something along the lines of Twilight Zone, where each week they showed a different story, an anthology. It's long been off the market. This is the entire collection of the Hammer House of Horror, originally made for British television, and came over to North America, and was put out in North America on DVD through, I believe, A&E.
And speaking of Christopher Lee, his long out of print box set. David Jensen, The Fugitive. The entire four seasons. The complete 156 episodes of The Twilight Zone. Maybe, maybe the best thing that has ever been shown on television. When it went off the air, Rod Serling followed it up with the Night Gallery, the complete Night Gallery. And earlier, speaking of The Saint, you can see how well I've got these things organized. The Avengers, the complete Diana Rigg series. Wonderful, wonderful. And now, to finish up this part of the What's New film on DVDs, I picked, some, I picked out some singles that are now getting very, very hard to find. I'm going to start off with some scarce... Criterion. Fiend Without a Face. The Flying Brains. Criterion thought enough of this little horror flick uh, to put it into their stable of high class movies. Rafifi. Considered to be maybe the best gangster movie ever made. Cinema Paradiso. Pimpernel Smith, Leslie Howard's follow-up to the Scarlet Pimpernel. I bet you if I asked you, did Jack Palance and Richard Bardot ever make a movie? I think a lot of you would say yes. Well, they only did one, Contempt. Uh, it just shows the rotten side of Hollywood and uh, how nasty directors and producers can be. And what is considered to be maybe one of the best war movies ever done, The Battle of Algiers. For anybody who saw the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I will tell anybody who will listen to me that that perhaps was the most frightening movie ever done in the 50s. And then when, of course, they did a remake with Donald Sutherland and Leonard Nimoy, I thought, eh, but it's good. I remember seeing it in the theater. It's very hard now to find on DVD. The first remake of The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Been waiting for this one for a long time. Zulu. Uh, this is an import. Uh, this has an extended version of the original release. Not much, but there is, there is some extra footage. But what makes this set so valuable is that there is a second disc which is a documentary on the making of the movie. Certainly what is the most difficult of all of the Bette Davis movies to get, Watch on the Rhine, made during the war. Great propaganda movie of trying to fight the Nazis who are on American soil but are spies and uh, how they rooted them out. Later on, I'm going to talk to you about soundtracks, but here's Howard Shore DVD on the documentary on making the soundtrack, the complete score for The Lord of the Rings, and then he put it into a symphony. This is it. Two maybe of the best Anthony Hopkins films. QB7, taken from Leon Uris's classic film. This is a miniseries, and Arc de Triomphe, written by the fellow who wrote All Quiet on the Western Front. Beckett. Peter O'Toole, Richard Burton. Early in Richard Burton's career, so he's doing a fine job. Burton plays Beckett. Peter O'Toole plays Henry II. The Three and the Four Musketeers, a uh, classic Adaptations by Richard Lester, which was the follow-up. The third one, The Return of the Musketeers, done by exactly the same behind the cameras team, directed by Richard Lester, and it really is taken from Alexander Dumas uh, 20 years after. I know 
a lot of you enjoy Abbott and Costello. Well, they put out the Abbott Costello Meet the Monsters in one set. You've got Meet Frankenstein, which of course he also meets Dracula and the Wolfman. Abbott Costello meets the Invisible Man, meets Jekyll and Hyde, and meets the Mummy. Everyone knows about this. But I don't think you know about this. Abbott Costello meet the creature from the Black Lagoon. Can you believe it? This is a TV special. The whole thing is on here, over 70 minutes long. Now, I've saved the steamiest to the last. I was able to track down the films that were taken from the works of Tennessee Williams. To finish up, I want to show you some things that we have in the store that are non-DVD related. First of all, some of them are for Valentine's Day. And everything I'm showing you is from my own collection. This little guy is about at least 20 years old. Who doesn't love Marvin the Martian? Just put him there, he can keep an eye on things. I've also decided to put my um, ridiculously large collection of soundtracks up for sale. I just grabbed two from the pile. Uh, the soundtrack for um, The Time Tunnel, Erwin Allen's television series, The Time Tunnel, and uh, the soundtrack from The Saint, which we talked about earlier. The other thing that I am putting up for sale is my collection of the 1950s, when comics were still 10 cents, my collection of war comics. Uh, some of these covers were uh, drawn by Joe Kerbert, but they had four different series. They had S Star Spangled War Stories. Look at the artwork on that. Yeah. Our Army at War. GI Combat. And Fighting Forces. We have a whole rack of these. And finally, for Valentine's Day, how can anybody pass this up? Wouldn't this look great on your sweetie's wall? L'amour, l'amour. And of course, Lucy could be saying that to house come home because Schroeder is never going to be interested. This is really quite old. This has got to be. 30 years old. Just to remind you that we are now at 1298 Blur Street West in Toronto, six stores east on the north side of the intersection at Lansdowne, Blur and Lansdowne. And our telephone number is 416-538-9927 or if it's you want a toll free, one 866 Five three eight nine nine two seven, and you can always reach us at Vintage Video Canada. That's important. Vintage Video Canada. dot com. Uh oh, I forgot two items. Sorry about that. First of all, we are the only store in Toronto, and I think we may be the only store in Ontario, but for sure Toronto that is now carrying Jack Lake's excellent series of the reprints of the Classics Illustrated comic book set started in 1939 and went right through until the 60s. Uh, he's done about two-thirds of them so far and we have everyone that is now in print here at the store. I'm putting up for sale my Monopoly set of Looney Tunes characters. And this one is the collector's edition. It, it came out about 19, in the 1990s, which has all of the characters, of course, all the pieces are Looney Tunes characters, but they're made out of pewter. The other sets, they were made out of plastic. This set is made out of pewter. This is really very, very rare. There it is, folks. Thank you for having the patience to stay and watch this, and uh, we'll talk to you again.